Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, before we start, I would like to apologize for the start of the program. Sorry. This afternoon, our mission is simple. The head coach of the Blasters, Mr. Middleman Raiva, is here to announce his work for Ghana's participation in the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon. Um, before I introduce the, the, the guests here and then those on the high table, I would like to run through the program of the team um, for the next 17 days. Hopefully, the local contingent is expected to depart Accra tomorrow, um, December 22nd, um, and then play to Doha in Qatar. Um, Ghana is supposed to submit the final list for the tournament on December 30 um, this month. We are expected to play our first friendly match on December 28th. Um, against the club side in Doha in Qatar, after which we will play our first competitive game against one of the teams um, that will compete at the tournament on January 1 or 1st January 2022. Um, that candidates have yet to be confirmed by the FA, but we are in talks with uh, a number of countries, including Egypt and Sudan. And then um, the third friendly, which will be the last friendly for the team we played on January 5, 2022. Um, that will be a game against African champions Algeria. The team will depart Cameroon on January 7, 2022. But before the team departs Cameroon, we in the serene atmosphere devoid of this. And for that matter, they have requested that the team will come in Doha without the media. Everything will be done by the GFN media and that will be posted across platforms. So on the 6th of January, it will be an open day to the press. Uh, and that day, the players will be available and the technical team will also be available. And those of you who will be able to make their way to Qatar, that will be the only opportunity for the media before the team and planes to Cameroon. Our first game is on January 10th, and that will be against Morocco. That will be our first game. Um, quickly, let me introduce with, uh, the gentleman, uh, guest here. We have the chairman of the Black Stars Management Committee, Mr. George Amaku, here with us. We also have the team manager of the team uh, of the Black Stars, Mr. Henry Marte, as well. The physio, um, Mr. Ricky Roy Romeo is also here. And then um, another brain behind the fitness of the coach, Fisio and Mazer, Mr. Samuel Fami Ankuma is also here, SK they call him. And then with me on my left is assistant coach Max Nelu, 
Milovan Raiva is the head coach, his interpreter, Mish, and then the goalkeeper's coach, Richard Olele Kingston. I will hand over the microphone to assistant coach Max Wokwere to run through the list for us. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, we have the dirty man squad here. He's talking to the mic. So you should talk to your mic. Yeah, we have a gentleman squad here. And uh, the goalkeepers are Joseph Wallacott, Swindon Town, Abdul Manaf, Nuruddin, Ruby, Richard Atta, Gran Asufu, Lawrence Atizigi, Senegal. The defenders are the Yellow Redding FC, Philemon Balfour Dreams FC, Baba Abdul Rahman, Redding FC. In your Mensa, Modu, Daniel Amati, Leicester City, Alexander Nipo, Strasbourg. Benatan Mensa, Columbus Q, Ali Abdul Mombi, Victoria, Nicky Branch, Portugal. The other main students we have Baba Ibisu, Raya Mayoka, Edmonado, Sharif, Tiraspo, Thomas Pate, Asla, Barak Bakash, Shenzhen FC. Mohamed Kudus, Ajax Amsterdam, Daniel Kofitre, St. Paul, David Abang, Rene, Andre De Deayo, Asad, Yusuf Pencil, Gennett. The front runners are Jordan Ayo, Crystal Palace, Rich Mombaji Adam, Jerusalem, Maxwell Abikwe, Akra Philippus, Felix Afinadan, A.S. Roma, and Benjamin Tete. Mal Malachi Asko. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, Coach Maxwell. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open for your questions. I'll pass from the microphone. You raise your hand. You mention your name. You tell us your media house, and then you proceed with your question. Thank you. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullahi, um, uh, Joy Sports. I'd like to find out from Milo how he would describe the last couple of days in the build-up to naming his squad. How would he describe those days? Okay, the third one. Aisha. Hi, my name is Aisha Zakariani. I work with Happy FM. Coach, um, what's the level of interference from um, the GFA or even your management? And how does that affect your job? Okay, thank you very much. So the first one was on Afghanistan and assurances that you will be coming for the tournament. Second one is on uh, how he would describe the days in the build up to naming the squad. How um, it's been in the last few years, years, years in the build up to naming yeah. the squad, and the third one is on interference. Coach. Uh, the bottom tip of the chain. Probably the moment I'm showing you a space for the addition of the special university. The RD, I mean, the space for the normal operation, I'm going to get a bit of a very good element. Ovaj, da bi dobro došao prepustaciji dalje, da se uvijek imamo i mamo vreme na sad, tako da smo ovaj, ga pozvali na listu. Uh, first question, uh, Felix Penajan is on the list because he's showing a lot of potential and he's trying to establish himself in his club and uh, 
um, we want to, to have him here, so we will see what is going to happen. This is a chance for him to get to know the others and to understand the requirements and to uh, become the part of the Black Star, so uh, he's on the list, so let's wait and see. You know, we are we expect him to, to come. Sigurno da nismo imali odmah poste ovih kvalifikacija za srpsko prvenstvo. Ja sam bio u Evropi, pratili smo sve igrače, moji zagradnici, svi smo znači pratili igrače i jednostavno odlučili smo se da ovo nismo mislimo da je ovom trenutku je trenutna lista u redu i normalno idemo drugi step je idemo na pripreme i tu ćemo vidjeti i ti i kako i sve da se ovaj da se odradi za Akšta Kaznešta. Not only last few days, the whole period behind us, maybe one more than one month, was the only focus was on monitoring the players and assessing their form and finding the best solution. So it's never easy, you know. Many of them, they deserve to be here, so to make decisions like this is never easy. So we hope that, you know, this is the, the, the best. Uh, at this moment, and that these guys are up, I'm absolutely, I absolutely believe these guys are ready to deliver and they are ready to fight for their country and to, to do the best they can. Da, da, 
was a second, there was a school who there was another question that when there were some players, he wanted to be the squad father, could not get to them for one or two years. Pa dobro, ne moram da pričamo, sigurno da smo odabrali sad ove i jednostavno fokusimo, sigurno da ima nekih razloga, nisu tu, ali znači imamo fokus na njih i jednostavno to je sad za ovo takvičenje to, da iskoristimo ih što možemo maksimalno normalno, da je ovo 30 igrača, da i iz njih znači 11 igrača. Uvijek ne želimo da bih radili. But part about this, you know, this is something that, you know, we, throughout our period here, since I came, you know, I only wanted players who are ready to step in, so, you know, these guys are ready, so we shouldn't waste our efforts on talking what if somebody might play or not, you know. We know who is ready to fight, and uh, not only these guys, there are many others who are ready to fight, so I believe this is a... a the best option for, for now and I strongly believe in this group of players. Okay, all right.